Welcome to the Angus Report, the week's top Angus stories broadcast on the web by the American Angus Association. I'm Bob Cervera. Our top story for the week, about 900 industry leaders, veterinarians, cattle producers and others met in Columbia, Missouri June 28th through July 1st for the annual Beef Improvement Federation Conference. Presentations focused on new technologies and advancements in genetic selection, evaluation and improvement. BIF conducted pre- and post-conference tours along with committee meetings and award presentations. A lot of the focus um, of BIF this year is on genomic uh, information, use of genomics uh, in creating selection tools. Uh, the Angus breed has had the opportunity to be kind of at the forefront of a lot of that initial research and uh, we had a great uh, main session today with uh, Dr. Sally Northcutt from our staff that kind of went through and, and explained how we have actually implemented the use of that genomic data into uh, genomic enhanced EPDs that have been available since uh, late October. Visit BIFconference.com and Angus.org for additional conference coverage. Several online video auctions this month include Angus Sired Cattle enrolled in Angus Source, a program that documents source, group age, and a minimum of 50% Angus genetics. Marketing through the videos has seemed to be a great outlet for those producers to expose themselves and uh, be able to compare their genetics uh, and sell volumes of cattle in, the, in a single day. Um, the advantages in, in the programs of the American Angus Association have been extremely well received through Angus Source and our newest one called Gateway. Um, those Angus sired calves and agent source verified calves through Gateway have been uh, very well received. Their uh, uh, buyers are jumping to them. Um, they've been a great asset for uh, people to use those programs uh, to bring up their bottom lines. Don't miss your chance to watch the valuable offerings. Visit www.angus.org for more information. For many ranchers, early weaning produces calves that gain faster convert cheaper, reduce cow costs, and increase carcass performance. It also makes sense from a management and grass standpoint, reports Jeff Helt, a consultant who works with ranchers in western Nebraska and South Dakota. Producers there have seen an average savings of $40 per cow in feed costs and a 25% increase in forage availability when moving toward a 90-day weaning target. I, I really think it, it can suit the guy that sells weaned calves the best just because I can sell at a normal weaning date a calf that's 40, 50, 70 pounds heavier at the same time uh, if I do early wean because I can get that much more weight on them than what mom and grass can do. Um, so, so I think it can really help them uh, at, at the same time if you're finishing calves uh, again to capture the feed efficiency if you're going to feed calves clear out to finish I really think you can take advantage of this. One, feed efficiency, two, carcass quality. I think those two things with an early weaning program for, through finish are really you know, money makers ready to grab if you follow through with that program. You know, so I think that's the two scenarios that, that early weaning program can really work. Uh, but, but you need to know when you want to sell or, or what weight you want to sell uh, and, and be able to back calculate. And finally, the American Angus Auxiliary is planning several special features for those who attend the National Junior Angus Show beginning July 11th. The Chef's Challenge is a new auxiliary sponsored contest that tests contestants' cooking skills. It's a very unique uh, idea, different from the other contests that we've had, in that the, the contestants will be preparing the food right in front of the judges and the audience. The people participating gives them an opportunity to show their creativity and to demonstrate uh, different methods of preparing CABB. Also gives the audience an opportunity to watch that preparation. And for those people that aren't familiar with uh, CABB, they can get a little taste of what creative uh, cooking ideas can be accomplished with CABB. Another option for people who are interested in finding out about the auxiliary uh, during the National Junior Angus Show would be to attend our Rocky Mountain Spa, which is a relaxation station for people to get away from the hustle and bustle of the, the show and, and join us for some 
uh, a chair massage and to visit with us a little bit more about what the auxiliary does. And that's all for this Angus Report. Join us next week when we provide the American Angus Association's latest news and information. Until then, visit our website, Facebook, or Twitter pages for articles, videos, and more information. Thanks for joining us. I was one of those guys that was mineral of the month guy. Well, behind me, there's, there's 80 rolls of hay that three years ago would have been consumed. And by using the Vitafirm products, we were able to get better utilization of our, of our hay during the feeding process. You know, these 80 rolls represent $50 per roll, which is $4,000 savings. This is hay that I, that I can use again next year, that I will use next year. That's why I stayed with Vitafirm. I mean, it worked.